Hi guys, Colleen here. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back and checking in on your girl. I have four perfumes here of varying price points that I did use up. And I want to give my feedback on it because it's one thing to shop and buy a perfume and use it and then put it down. It's such a fulfilling um, feeling using up a product completely you get your money's worth out of it and you have your thoughts as to whether you would repurchase it or not so I really want to share my thoughts on these perfumes some of them you would have seen me um, put in a haul I think there's one that was here even before my perfume kick because I do like perfumes it's just that only recently I've been talking about them so let me just dive in the first one I want to talk about is and I mean you all may have seen the bottle around but I never really spoke about this perfume on my channel and that is the Versace Bright Crystal Absolute look at that bottle now I finished up a three fluid ounce bottle this is a beautiful, when I say beautiful, beautiful citrus perfume, bright, happy citrus perfume. Like when you smell this, you immediately get happy. This, the first time I purchased this perfume would have been back in 2015. I went on vacation with family and I bought this in duty free and I fell in, with, fell in love with the perfume ever since and I've always, always repurchased this perfume. This is probably my third or fourth bottle of this perfume and I can tell you off the bat the fact that this is like probably my fourth bottle that I will repurchase this. I actually prefer this perfume over the regular Bright Crystal. The Bright Crystal is pretty but to me... I don't know if it's because there are other perfumes that are quite similar to it. It doesn't stand out to me, but this one, this one packs a punch. I mean, from the packaging to the scent, the projection and longevity, like I get tons and tons of compliments wearing this perfume. Like this is a compliment magnet. Now, you can get this off of Sephora or Nordstrom, but for me, because I have found other places that sell um, current designer perfumes for super duper cheap, sometimes I just go there. So a favorite um, perfume site, discounted perfume site that I buy this from is Forever Lux. I will leave a link in the description down below. If you're interested in copying this, I know this costs about 100 US. I get this for like 40 US, guys. Like, seriously. And I, I have to buy another bottle of this. I have gone too long without this perfume. But I still feel so happy to like use it up. Because like I said, I don't want to be seen as just buying perfumes for the sake of buying perfumes, not using it and just putting it down, you know? I have also been decluttering perfumes so if you follow me on Instagram you guys are usually the first to know when I'm decluttering a perfume or not so if you want to get the heads up and probably get access to buying a perfume I no longer want in my collection go and follow me on Instagram but this one if you like bright floral tropical fruity scent this is one to get guys absolutely love it the next one i did haul on my channel i will leave the link to that video in the description box below i think it would have been the, at the beginning of the pandemic this is guerlain mon guerlain i think this is the eau de toilette this smells so nice like this has a lavender note in it that is super duper 
comforting and cozy it gives a cozy vibe this is also another compliment getter but I find I get the compliments more from the women than the men when I wear this and I have worn the heck out of this like look it's gone I don't know if they make the eau de toilette again I think when I purchased this they will sell it on sale because they were discontinuing the scent I don't know if you can find this but this is such a lovely scent um would I repurchase it maybe if I can get it at the same sale price I don't think I'd want to pay full retail price for this I think I'd pay like 30 something dollars for this on Nordstrom but the perfume is really nice um, the lavender in this is really nice but um, of course if you cannot find this but you want a lavender lavender based perfume you can check YSL Libre that is a lavender perfume and it's really nice it's a little more on the soapy side this one's a little more on the cozy skin side you know I would actually lean more towards the more girl than, than the YSL Libre but I know that is a fan fave on social media the next one is the Al Rehab soft I have like a little, little bit I have a backup of this thank God this costs only 10 US dollars you can get it off of Amazon it's really affordable this smells like a iced lemon pound cake it is sweet gourmand with a citrus lemony note in it it's really nice it's really yummy this does not last as long as say the other two that I have spoken about but this one smells really nice you can top it off during the day it's a good daytime scent especially if you live somewhere hot and humid it works well with the heat you know this I would like to wear with like a crisp white button-down shirt and jeans and a pair of you know ballet flats and just look effortless chic and this smells so good I am in the process of like convincing some local perfume sellers to sell this perfume because I mean as much as I like buying it online the fact that I bought this probably two three months ago and I'm already down to here I would just rather like to buy this locally because I could just grab and go you know what I mean but this one I highly recommend I did haul this in a video I'll make sure to link it in the description box below because I also spoke about a couple other Al Rehab um, perfumes but this one is a definite safe blind buy like seriously hands down you have to not like ice lemon pound cake to not like this scent this is a nice balance of the lemon and the gourmand cake scent it's not like too overpowering and I'm just happy I have a backup of it and the last perfume I used up is the Burberry Her Eau de Toilette now I purchased this I believe back in either February or March I will make sure to link that video below and I bought the one ounce bottle because I wasn't too sure about this perfume but hands down this is probably the best flanker I have smelled from the Burberry Hull line so far I still have to try the elixir I'll probably pick that up in the sale the upcoming sale but this one if you like a pear note this is a perfume for you this is completely different from the original Burberry Hull which has more of a synthetic strawberry and berry currant note this one is crisp juicy pears and again this smells great in our climate hot weather climate this is like daytime office vibes 
I got so many compliments wearing this perfume. I am sad to see her gone, but I recently bought a Sephora favorites kit and in it I was able to get a bigger size bottle of this and it's on its way so I'm really looking forward to replacing this bad boy in my collection so yes I am working on some other perfumes that I want to finish up and give my thoughts on it as to whether I will repurchase it or not so let me know in the comment section below what perfumes you have used up for 2022 so far let me know in the comment section below and whether you would repurchase it or not and why thank you so very much for watching make sure to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in another video bye guys